Greetings everyone, welcome to Little Hope with me, Kemzit and Lynn. Now, <laughs> this might be another scary game, so if your nerves cannot handle it, please feel free to uh, click this away. But uh, this is another game from the makers that made the game called Man of Madonna of Little Anthology. And uh, this is also new, uh, well not, well it is still new, it's not that old, like a few months ago or something. But um... We're gonna have some fun, I guess, and hopefully we won't kill many people with our decisions. So, um... Let's just kill everyone. Possible, but I do not want to see that. I don't. Okay, then shall I start? Yeah, go for it. I'm already scared already what's <laughs> gonna happen. I'm, my nerves are already all... Uh, yeah, right. You just go, just go. I don't care. Hmm. Okay, uh, it says start as Anthony or start as Tanya. Who do you want to be? Uh, I want to try Tanya then. Fine, I'm going to Anthony then. Okay. Already up, boy. I'm ready. I'm scared already, Jesus. Don't oh, come, you tits. Oh, shut it. It is a scary game. You gotta be sharp as ever, or, you know, someone might die just like last time. Between doors. Lovely. Not really. I'm scared. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Jesus, uh, the tutorial play two. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use controller. Okay, I'm just using a mouse and all, so let's see. Okay, also, this game's a little different in the input department. So it doesn't actually show the inputs immediately on QuickTime events. Mm. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Are you scared yet? I am. <laughs> Stop talking to me right now. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Uh, you're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up. What? Well, Oops, sorry. You dumbass. Silly bum. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. I accidentally hit the controller. Mm. Because this road trip is slightly boring, though. 
any harder it'll wear away to nothing right how long have you been sober a few days shy of three months impressive i heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest i know it doesn't add up but i get something from holding on to this we're going the wrong way it's fine just a quick detour it's not fine calm down it's all okay Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Holy shit. Well, it's just a little girl. That's a no good sign. James, you know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this is? You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. <gasps> not tonight. No way. I had a great time, and I really enjoyed the ride. Always happy to give you a ride. <laughs> well, let's say you're, you're funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you talking with someone? Yeah, I'm just doing Tanya. Don't get away from here. Mm, I'm Anthony. Family, mm. like right now. Come on, they're not that bad. You don't live with them. Catch you tomorrow. Mm. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. I take it that's you. Yeah. And yeah, that's me. Start climbing through the window mm -hmm. unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. 
They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? He nearly fell through the front door. Some dad we got, huh? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. Hmm. What's curled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. <clears throat> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Crazy. <laughs> oh. Jesus, you scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. Mm. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. OK, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where is the little princess anyway? Mm. She's probably something. better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check. Are you sure? Right, mm -hmm. sure. Like you're the nah, one. She is a nice little doll. Mm. I'll go find her. Yeah, you go find her. Megan. She's not opening. Damn it, open it. <coughs> hey, Mom? You there? Close to. Dennis? You still up there? What do you want? Just want to know how my sweet brother is doing. Not so good. Bigfoot clumsy ass stomped all over my records. She's your baby sister. Anyways, looks like she's got better taste in music than you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why did it not examine? Come on, open it up. They don't notice me at all. I'm going to go check on you. Hmm. Which nosy going to be dead some little shit has been peeking at my diary. Hey, Tanya. Or not. How's Megan doing? Don't know. Haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? 
Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it. Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, go find him. They don't care. They're not interested. They don't see me. To them, I'm invisible. That isn't right at all. <sighs> what the fuck? What? I tried to listen her off, but it just sort it off. Oh well. No, I get blamed for everything. It's not fair. Hey, Megan? What's up? Not listening. Hey, who are you talking to? To someone who actually cares about me. What are you talking about? Full of shit. What was that? You see that? What? Views. A fucking crow headed the window. Hmm. I'm on the first floor walking around. Okay, weird. Just a crow's feather. Hmm. Interesting. Megan. Megan, great suck. Hey, yeah, Megan. She closes the door Anthony, for me. you there? And I was stuck in the. Um, Anthony, where the hell are you? Balcony. Oh, yeah, I hear you. Anthony, Anthony, where are you? God damn it! Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. Well, I did nothing. I'm in. I'm downstairs. Yeah. You could be right about my family. I think so too. Tanya. Oh God. What's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. And that ain't good. No shit. Megan. You in there? <sighs> what? Not good. The kitchen's on fire. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> nope, I'm kidding. Megan. Dad? Well, this guy's useless. <laughs> yep. That guy's stuck up there. Mm-hmm. She's locked inside. Yep. Where the hell is everybody? Anthony, help! Just jump, woman. <laughs> yeah, jump already. But she's locked. She's gonna die for sure. Unless window or something. Help! I don't think there's a window there. Anthony, hey, up here! What the fuck are you doing up there? I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony. Anthony, help! Drunk hard. Damn, is he useless? <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Dead for sure. Yep. And the moment two. Yeah. 
So who do I help? You or Megan? Uh, I say me. Megan is... <laughs> she's gonna be fucked up anyway. Too late for her. Anthony! Help! What should I do? How about you jump? No way. I'm down. Well, you can try the window, I don't know. No, there's no way. Let's see. I might slip or die, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> that did. One, that's one dumb way to die. Yeah, well. I don't know if there was a chance to open that door and then go, but oh well, she I did. doubt it. Because there was fire inside too, but could have done it, maybe. Now there's still this guy. But he's dead too. Ah, no. <laughs> Holy shit. Entire family dead apart from him. Mm hmm. Safety meshes. What have you done? Mom, Mom stop! What the fuck? <laughs> okay, no one survived. No, what? <laughs> okay, this game is scary as hell and weird. Just so much dead achievement unlocked. Oh. Hey, look, our friend is intro. Yeah. Won't you spare me over till another Come on, you missed this guy. No, not really. <laughs> but he's the best guy in the whole series. Hello. Fucking butler. And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator. The guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. 
This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless, and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. You see, you will be determining the outcome of this tale together. What one does will often affect the other. So even though you are two people, you'll be completing the story as if you were one, if that makes any sense. As in life, the actions you take matter. They will determine how your story resolves. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the end. You've seen how the story starts? So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But... Uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. <laughs> wow! Filth bag! Why did you a good funeral? Jesus. Entire house wiped out. So the last guy could have actually survived. He was that dumb. Yeah. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Hey, look, it's your boyfriend. Yeah. And that is why you do not let children play with mashes. Yeah. I should have found her instead of looking at that diary, Jesus. I don't think you would have changed anything. <laughs> oh well. As the curator said, not our place. Mm.
Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ugh. Where's my phone? You okay? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Careful. There's no rush. Don't be such an old woman and help me up. <laughs> Not sure I'm the old woman here. What happened? We went over a bump in the road. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I know I'll be fine. I assume this red guy is you. Yeah. Daniel. Sorry, I'm just trying to help. I don't need any help. Thank you, Daniel. Our professor and classmates might, though. Have you seen them? Holy shit, 48 and she's still a student. Yep. You're never old to learn some... Hey! <laughs> anyone up there? Hey! Daniel, that you? John! Good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm alright. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John. Any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. That looks bad. I hope Taylor is okay. Taylor will be just fine. Girl has a knack for getting out of trouble. I know Taylor can be demanding, selfish, quarrelsome, and small-minded, but other than that, she's a real babe. Mm. I don't want to know. Daniel? Everything okay? No. I'm good. Just a little lightheaded is all. I'm thinking I'm gonna file charges against the college. For what? Having a bad night? The college are responsible for our safety. This nightmare is negligence. Not only have we crashed in the middle of nowhere, we're saddled with Jumpy John as our way out. <laughs> Right now, our priority is getting out of here. Follow me. Why do men always feel they have to be in charge? I can find my own way. Thank you. <laughs> you coming? Wow. Harsh oh. woman. She really is so feminine. Well, she is an old woman. Oh well. Oh, shit. Wait, what's this? I don't know. Yeah, halter to you. I cannot stand water. Ever since I was a kid, no way I'm crossing over. We nearly got mangled in a bus crash, and you're worried about getting wet. You don't understand. This outfit cost a fortune. There's nothing to it. Just follow me. Not sure you should be making decisions. You almost blacked out just now. <laughs> Come on. It's easy. Oh, God. I hate this. 
That's it. Keep going. You got it. Oh. Oh. Hell, I wish this was over. Oh. Yeah, there we go. So, you can be a gentleman after all. Thanks. Mm -hmm. My guy's lightheaded, really. Holy shit. <laughs> At least I did save you. Where the fuck did you go? We are on top. We're waiting for you. What the fuck? I lost that woman. Oh, there she is. That pylon has to be near a road. Probably the one back into town. Ugh. Hey, the gang's all back together. <laughs> Nearly. Ah, oh, there we are. Good to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. <laughs> this gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one. Push! <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Easy job, you two. Mm, for now. You never know. Teamwork. Mm-hmm. plan now head into town see if we can get help you know where town is sure we're near little hope sounds like a fun place funnily enough little hope does have an interesting and dark history okay professor we don't need the town's history bad things happened here a long time ago <laughs> which you are dying to tell us all about <gasps> I'm starting not to like you or your attitude I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. Wait, you're the old hag now? <laughs> yeah. Maybe Daniel deserves better. <sighs> you're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? Hmm. You're Stay wrong. out of your hag. It's got nothing to do with me. We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at finding help. Fine. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere. Wow. Going back in town is even a better, worse idea. Mm, nah. What? what? I walked away from you! Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone then? Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait. What are you doing? Taylor. Look out! What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back! I walk straight out every time! It's like, I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something! Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 
I admit that is a little odd. Tada! <laughs> it's not possible. It's just like I've been saying. We are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. What do we do? Calm down. Breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no-hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Yep. Yeah, I don't know where this bitch wants to go back to the bus. I have no idea either. I thought, are you controlling her even? Yeah. Why did you say mm. we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? So if she dies, I won't cry too much. Brain keeps going for a while after you, you know. I'm controlling the old right. woman now. Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Oh, old lady, old lady. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. A black cat. Yeah, that's a black cat giving a hint, maybe. Yeah, he run away. Yeah, but he's going here. I don't know if he can step over. Obviously not. God damn it. I'm being giving us some hint because, you know, picture and all. Ah, uh, well. Actually, let's just go back and check. You okay there, Granny? Yeah, I am. Little bitch. Hold oh, Granny! Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. We'll find something. We already found something. Look, I see light. Yeah, a little shed or shack, whatever. That's a little too big for a shack, don't you think? My bad. Oh, I saw something moving in the window. Hey, over here. No good. Right, you know I'm what? Not Let's. Sure this is such oh, a great wait. idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? I know something is up with you. You said I wasn't your boyfriend. Like, what a joke idea that is. Are you for real? Thanks for backing me up earlier. With Taylor. Not a problem. We're all a little twitchy right now. Maybe back off everyone a little, huh? What's up? I'm sure I've seen that before somewhere. Hmm. Like where? Nothing unusual. Are you all right? You look pale. 
I'm a little concerned. You blacked out for a while after the crash. Yeah. I'm not sure. Still a little spaced out here. A concussion can scramble your memory. He'll most likely come back to you. We standing here all night, or we going inside? Yep. Hey, look, another alive person. <laughs> Not trustworthy, though. Seems fine yeah. to me. For now. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? Yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped here too? Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. He certainly looks shook up. Don't be like that. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years. Of Sounds like you could use a drink. You and your cash are both Better not, thanks. Sounds like fighting talk to me. Need to keep a clear head. <clears throat> it's right there if you change your mind. Warm up with the shot. Not for me. Or single 20. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. Beginner's luck. What are you doing in here alone? I'm sure you have a good reason to be here. Right? Yeah, I got my reasons for being here. Great shooting. Go for the bullseye with your last card. Hmm. You want to tell us about it? Not the sharing type. Okay. Do I look like I'm a big talker? Let's just leave him be. Guys, the whole guys are his play. How do you feel about all this shit? <laughs> what is this guy's problem? I don't really There's know definitely something off about him. <laughs> but... uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. No name. Let's look around. <sighs> there must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. You know what, let's go to the day over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and wish to support it. Do you want to repent something or a good game together that is possible as well? Just write that down in the comments box below or add me on Steam and we can have a chit chat about it. Till then, we shall see you guys later.